not to, to die. die. Passionate voices for and against assisted dying outside Parliament. We want choice. This is a question on which there is no middle ground. The last vote on this in the Commons was in 1997, so there were plenty who wanted to speak. More than 85 members have indicated that they wish to catch my eye in this debate, which is unprecedented. The backbencher introducing the bill said assisted dying offered comfort and reassurance to the terminally ill. To have the option of choosing a dignified and peaceful death at a time and place and in a manner of my own choosing at my own hand. I think it's naive to believe that we can prevent the persuasion of an elderly, expensive or asset-rich relative being encouraged, coerced or emotionally blackmailed into taking their own life. And there were powerful opinions for and against among Conservative MPs. I understand that the Catholic and faith lobby will have in principle objections to this, but I am slightly appalled that they should seek to sustain legislation that limits my personal autonomy. We are here to protect the most vulnerable in our society, not to legislate to kill them. This bill is not merely flawed, it is legally and ethically totally unacceptable and we must reject it. One of the key safeguards in the bill, that a judge would review the decision of doctors in every case was ridiculed by opponents. There can be few issues of more fundamental importance to society than how we treat the terminally ill. Supporters of assisted dying say it would allow a dignified end free of suffering. Opponents say it is both unnecessary and dangerous. MPs were given a free vote on this matter of conscience and they emphatically rejected any change in the law. The eyes to the right, 118. The nose to the left, 330. Yeah. Outside, jubilation in the no camp. I feel such yeah. relief because if this bill had gone through, the message that it was giving terminally ill and disabled people was that, you know, it's OK to end your life, that your life is, is worth less. And dismay among the bill's supporters at how MPs voted. I think they have been ill-advised ill-guided and they have turned their backs on the will of the people. There are people out there suffering terribly and all they want to do is die. Any hope of changing the law in this parliament looks gone, but supporters of assisted dying will be back. This is an issue which simply won't go away. Fergus Walsh, BBC News, Westminster.